so you're literally stoking the fire out there. Yeah. It looks like it's like working in a volcano. Yeah. <laughs> it can feel like that sometimes. <laughs> The key to converting sunlight to energy is through a resource Australia has in spades. Silicon. It's the most critical component of solar cells, found in 95% of all panels. Silicon is extracted from locally mined quartz using blistering heat. Furnace supervisor Lee Rogers and his crew keep this place running around the clock. So Lee, this is where it all starts? Yeah, this is our quartz. It's pretty common rock. It's a very common rock. Uh, we get it from our mine in Mora. Our quartz is very low in impurities. Uh, it's one of the lowest that you'll find uh, in large quantities anywhere in the world. The quartz, or silicon dioxide, is transformed into silicon in this cauldron-like furnace. This is where all the raw materials that we saw down the back has now made its way into the smelter and are now in the furnace uh, being heated up to, to melt to make the silicon. The furnace is what we call stoked by uh, operators who uh, drive an air conditioning machine and push that material around. The smelting process uses huge amounts of electricity to split apart the silicon dioxide into oxygen and silicon. The oxygen reacts with coal and charcoal and is then released as carbon dioxide, leaving behind near pure silicon. So you're literally stoking the fire out there? Yeah, you uh, go out there in a dango, it's like a little tiny mini car with a, an arm on the front, which just pushes the feed. So make sure all three electrodes yep. that carry the electricity are covered with? With the feed, the yeah, so then that turns it into silicon eventually. Like it looks like it's like working in a volcano. Yeah, it can feel like that sometimes. <laughs> the further it goes down, the hotter it will get. It will turn into a, a molten silicon around about 3,000 odd degrees in the centre of the furnace. The molten metal will make its way out of the furnace through what we call a tap hole. On the level below the furnace, workers face punishing heat to unblock the tap hole by hand. Expelling a huge build-up of gas and releasing molten silicon. This is incredible! We're seeing molten silicon being poured out of a massive bucket. Step of making solar panels. Day and night, enormous ladles pour thousands of litres of molten silicon. Some of it will end up being the key material in solar panels. But as I've seen today, producing silicon is very resource intensive. in there. I could imagine it uses a whole bunch of energy. We're the single biggest user on the West Australian grid that doesn't have their own power generation. For every 50,000 tonnes of silicon that we produce, there's 500,000 tonnes of CO2 produced. That's a lot. As an off gas. So that's both in the process and in the electricity that you need? That's correct, yes. It's really clear that turning this quartz into this silicon takes a lot of energy. But on the flip side, if this silicon is incorporated into a solar panel, it'll generate at least four times as much energy as it took to make it. And that's being conservative. In a sunny country like Australia, it can be more than 10 times as much 